first notice at Pippa Middleton at the royal wedding last April, and she quickly became known as her royal hotness. Nine months later, Kate's little sister is fed up with all those photographers. Charlie Daggett has a story for us. He is outside Buckingham Palace. Charlie, good morning. Good morning to you, Erica. Lawyers uh, acting on behalf of Pippa Middleton issued a stern warning letter yesterday to photographers and agencies telling them to back off that their behavior constitutes harassment and they're threatening lawsuits if it continues. Pippa Middleton found herself launched into the global celebrity stratosphere in an instant at her sister Catherine's wedding day with Prince William. The maid of honor came close to upstaging the bride in that form-fitting dress. The world took notice. It's been open season ever since. Every time she goes outside our house, there's 10 or 12 agencies there. It's not what she asked for. It's not what she wanted, and she's really upset about it. After all, friends say she's not the one who chose to marry into the royal family. And unlike Catherine, she's not afforded the ring of security or respect for privacy that comes with it. Back when Catherine was plain old Kate, she was hounded too and called in the same lawyers to order the paparazzi to back off. Now Pippa wears the crown as the most harassed Middleton. Well, At an ongoing inquiry into okay, media so ethics, the picture editor at Britain's Daily Mail said he's inundated with offers of the latest Pippa snaps. She goes to get a coffee, you know, she goes back into her house. You get about three to four hundred pictures on that a day. There's, there's no need for it. There's no reason to use them. There's no justification for using them. There may not be a need, but there's certainly an appetite. If you know where to look, you can find Pippa bundling up, popping out for a bite, shopping, whatever. Her lawyers say she's taken it in her stride, but now she's acted out of desperation after serious stress and anxiety at the relentless pursuit. Now, I spoke to one of the photographers at one of the agencies this morning. He didn't want to be identified. I said, is this going to change things? He said, not really. If she's on public, if she's in the public eye, she's public property and fair game. I was wondering that, too. Thank you, Charlie. Royals contributor Victoria Arbiter is here now to weigh in on Pippa and the paparazzi. Hello, Victoria. Good morning. You know, it all started with, they say, Pippa's butt, which, by the way, I never thought was so big. I thought she looked good, but I never thought she had this ginormous butt that people were talking about. But when you look at her life, that she, I was reading that she gets 400 shots a day. This is me going into the grocery store. This is me coming out. After a while, that does get a little annoying. Well, and somewhat I dull, I would have thought. There's yeah, only so dull. many pictures yes. of Pippa getting coffee. That's literally what it is. She goes and gets coffee. Right. She walks into work. She leaves work. She goes home. She gets into her car. Yeah. She starts her car. <laughs> she drives away. Really. And this is what's baffling to me because she's not doing anything. She's not falling out of a nightclub. She's not dating a different boyfriend every five minutes. It, it's kind of changed how the paparazzi is working. I think she's not won a game show. She doesn't have a reality show. Mm -hmm. But I think it's her style and she's the next best thing to Kate. Um, do you think she wants to be a celebrity? No, I think in the you, beginning... You, do you really think she doesn't want all of the attention? In the beginning, I think she very much enjoyed the attention. Yeah. It was new, it was exciting, and she's going to have to strike a fine balance because later this year she does have a book coming out and she's going to need the press at that point, so she's going to have to be careful how she plays this game because you need to avoid a backlash. What kind of... You know, Charlie said that the photographer he spoke to, her, spoke to said she was public property. So lovely to be referred to as property yeah. when you're a human being. Yeah. Um, but what kind of legal recourse course does she have? She sent this letter out from the firm that her sister mm -hmm. and the prince use. But really, what will it do? This letter is serving as a warning right now. She's hoping not to have to call an, in, uh, an injunction, and then they will be responsible for paying her damages. I hope it doesn't come to that, but yeah. it's quite possible it will. Would the, would the royal family, would Clarence House, would anybody step in on her behalf beyond saying, hey, talk to my attorneys? Highly unlikely. She's not a member of the royal family, and I think that's where St. James's Palace wants to be quite careful because the minute they start defending her on this, then suddenly they're responsible for looking out for Pippa. You touched on something interesting. She doesn't want to be a celebrity, but she's writing a book, did you say? Yes. Well, she has What's a party her book, book about. <laughs> she has a party book coming out how to plan the perfect party, okay. how to host the perfect party. So we have that, look, that to look forward to. Uh, we will look for that. Okay. Victoria, always Thank nice you, to Victoria. see you. Thanks.